I plan to cover the top CD rates available today for the six month, the one year, the two year, and the three year time frame. Most recently, Capital One offered a CD at 5%, but it's no longer available. And I have a lot of people that are asking me for the best CD rates to take its place. So in today's video, each CD that I provide is going to be at least a 5% APY. And of course, they're all gonna be FDIC insured. And none of the CDs today are gonna be from a credit union that may require some form of membership. And please keep in mind that banks can change their rates at any given moment. And I also wanna make it clear that I am not getting any payment from these banks to showcase their CDs. I'm merely providing the top rates that are available today. I'll begin with the best rates on the six month CD and I'll provide a couple of options due to some of them having some form of restriction. The first CD is at 5.01% APY from Total Direct Bank and it is a division of City National Bank of Florida that has been around for 75 years. If you invested $25,000, you'd earn $634 in six months. This happened to be the highest bank offered CD that I could find today at six months, but it does come at a massive cost of having a minimum deposit of $25,000. The interest is compounded daily and you have the choice to either have it paid out monthly directly to you or back into the CD so it can be compounded. Just remember that if you choose to take the interest out, then you are losing out on that compounding interest and your rate would then drop down to a 4.89%. The CD is set to auto renew, but you do have a grace period of 10 days at maturity to make a change. And if you withdraw this CD early, it does have a penalty of giving up one month's worth of interest. So on a CD of $25,000, because, well, that's the minimum, if you took it out a month before maturity, the total earned is $514, and you would need to give up a month's worth of interest at roughly $102, leaving you with just $412, or earning 3.9% APY. Because of the high minimum deposit, the CD isn't exactly a good fit for the broader audience. And here's another CD at six months that earns a fixed 5.15% APY, which is available as a brokered CD on Fidelity with the HTLF bank where $25,000 invested would result in just over $600 in six months. This CD is call protected, so the bank can't close it out early and the minimum deposit is $1,000. If you aren't familiar with buying brokered CDs, I walk through the entire process in this video right here. Brokered CDs like this one are FDIC insured and the CD is still contractually purchased with the offering bank. It's a brokered CD because the exchange, Fidelity, is acting as a middle person showcasing the product. So long as you buy a new CD online, then Fidelity doesn't charge you any fee. And if you need to withdraw your funds early, then you can sell them on the secondary market, which has its risks and its benefits. I won't go into those details today, but if you need a reminder, check out one of my other videos on that topic. Before moving on to the next CD, I have a favor to ask of you. If you like my content, please consider pressing the like button so my channel can grow. And I'd also love it if you'd consider subscribing so you can be up to date with all of my latest content. With that said, I'll move on to the top rate on the one year CD at 5.15% APY from Limelight Bank which is a division of Capital Community Bank out of Utah, where they've been around since 1993. The CD has a minimum deposit of $1,000, where the CD is on auto renew, and you'll have a 10-day grace period to make any changes. Interest is accrued daily, but you don't get access until maturity. Early withdrawal on this CD comes with forfeiting 90 days worth of interest. Overall, if you invested $25,000, you'd earn $1,321 at the end of one year with a five 0.15% APY. And if you're curious about brokered CDs at one year, the best rate that I saw today that's call protected was at 5.25% from Comerica Bank of Dallas. One downside of this CD is that it does list a few blue sky states where the CD isn't allowed to be sold. Just another option in case the $5,000 minimum from Sun Canyon Bank was a bit rich for your blood. I also want to point out a no penalty CD that's offered from Ally Bank that's at 4.75% APY for 11 months. And since it's so close to the 5% mark, I thought I'd throw it in there in case you were looking for this type of product. In case you are not familiar with a no penalty CD, you can withdraw the money from the CD at any given moment with no penalty fee. Also, this CD has no minimum investment, so it makes for a very solid option if you want flexibility with your cash. But the obvious downside with a no penalty CD is that their rates tend to be a little bit lower. It's the price that you pay for added flexibility. Now I'm going to move on to the best two year CD at 5.1% from Bread Savings, which is owned by Comenity Bank. The interest is compounded daily and paid monthly, and there's a minimum deposit of $1,500. If you invested $25,000, then you'd earn $2,610 
10 in two years. Early withdrawal on this CD comes with forfeiting an incredible six months worth of interest. So if you bought this CD and had an emergency where you cashed it in after only having it for three months, you would still owe them six months worth of interest meaning that you would literally lose money on this CD. And if you're locking up your money for two years on a traditional CD, please make certain that you don't need to withdraw it early for any reason. As for the best brokered CD at two years, that's called Protected, it's at 5.05% APY from Synchrony Bank. And it does have one Blue Sky State, which happens to be Texas. There are several brokered CDs at the two year mark that had the same interest rate as this one, but I chose this one simply because it had the smallest Blue Sky State list. And the thing that I find funny about this is that if you go on the Synchrony Bank website, their offered CDs are much lower than what you can buy on Fidelity. Now I'll move on to the best rates on the three year CDs. Sadly, I could not find any dedicated bank that offered a rate of 5% or more on a three year CD. There happened to be one credit union that offered 5.5%, but the best that I could find with a traditional bank was only at 4.5% with bread savings. If you want to break that ceiling of 5% on a CD for three years, the only spot that I could find it on was through a brokered CD on Fidelity. And it happened to be right on 5% APY and was once again available from Synchrony Bank. Where at the end of three years with $25,000 invested, you'd have $3,750 when it matured, giving you a fixed rate of 5% APY. Those are the top CD rates at or above 5% that are available today. And please keep in mind that the rates are changing daily, so don't be surprised if you're able to find some that are higher when you do your own research. And if you do find some better rates, please feel free to share them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.